Hey everyone, welcome back to Melissa's Kitchen Table and happy Valentine's Day. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I plan on making lemon blueberry cookies. And I just, I got a regular recipe for any type of sugar cookie, shortbread cookie. And then I'm going to add some blueberries to it. Now, typically when you add blueberries to any kind of baked goods, you tend to want to keep them whole. And I don't this time, so you'll see. So I will go over the ingredients, just so you know everything that we're gonna be using, and I'll list it in the description down below. We have three quarters of a cup of butter softened. I have that in the bowl already. One cup of sugar, one teaspoon baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, two eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla, two cups all-purpose flour, and one cup of blueberries. We're also going to use the zest and juice of a lemon. And then when we do the glaze, we'll use more lemon, zest, lemon juice, and powdered sugar. All right, so, like I said, I have the softened butter over there. And to that, we're going to add the one cup of sugar. Yeah. I had to break up some of the sugar. Okay. And then mix that together. We want to cream that. Just like that. So... I'll probably do that for a good minute, two minutes. So we'll be right back. Okay, I did it for just about a minute. To this, we're gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder. You wanna make sure you're using the powder and not baking soda, because they do two different things. So baking powder. And then I'm using vanilla bean paste, um, just because I actually found this, oh, I don't know, a couple months ago at, um, a discount grocery store it's an alternative to vanilla extract because I don't like to use anything with vanilla in, if that's how you say it I do like to use the pure vanilla stuff but it's so so expensive and what did I say a teaspoon of this I'm just gonna eyeball that yeah so it's not quite like vanilla extract and then we'll add our quarter cup a quarter cup our quarter teaspoon of salt. All right, and let's mix that. Okay, and then to this, I am going to zest my lemon. I'm looking for my microphone here. No. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah, that's not gonna work. All right, let's clean the blade and we'll move this. Now you can leave the lemon out if you want, um, but we like the lemon in it, and we do like it to be a little bit tart. All right. So when you zest a lemon. You want to make sure all you're using is the yellow. Don't use any of the white pith. That's bitter and not flavorful. I'm sure you guys have heard that a million times by now. But this is where you get a lot of the flavor from. And it's not sour like the lemon juice is. If you don't like lemon, you can use orange, and that'll have a little bit of a sweeter flavor to it as well. Now, I'm not using any of the juice for this. I'm going to use it for the icing. All right, so we got that. I'm going to add in our one cup of blueberries. These were frozen, so I just had to defrost them. Let's mix that in. And I am gonna mix these on high because like I said, I want those to mash up. 
it's going to give a really pretty color to the batter. All right, so to this, we're going to add two eggs, one at a time. You're also going to bake these at 350 degrees. I don't have the oven preheating yet because um, we want the butter to harden up before we bake the cookies. So we're going to leave these in the refrigerator for a while just so they harden up. So depending on how long it takes for your, your oven to heat up is when you're going to start preheating. All right, and lastly, we're just gonna add uh, two cups of flour. Now you're gonna, you might need a little bit more because we're gonna roll these out. And since I added blueberries to it, it might make it a little bit looser. So I'm gonna start with the two cups that the recipe calls for and then go from there. Start with one, let that mix. So you can use any kind of cutout you want for this. You could just use a round cookie cutter, but I chose to use this pretty little scalloped heart. When I was thinking about these cookies, I was thinking about doing them in like a round scallop, but then when I decided to do them for um, Valentine's Day, I pulled out the scalloped heart cutter. You can do them as big as this or as small as you want. Of course, you could do whatever shape you want. All right, so we got that. We're gonna need more, I'm sure. start with another half cup. My guess is we're going to need about three cups of flour for it. Plus some for rolling out. Okay, so that's about three cups that I just got in there. a half cup more. Sometimes cooking and baking is just trial and error. You just gotta see what works. And it also depends on what the weather is like too. How much humidity is in the air, how much humidity is in the house. A lot of it changes. Yeah, so I make a mess in the kitchen. And it's okay because I clean it up anyway. Okay, so let me clean this mess up over here, put some of this stuff away. Then I'm gonna get the flour out on my um, counter and we'll roll these out. 
All right. So here is our dough. This is a lot of dough. So I am going to break this into two sections so it's just easier to work with. So then we're going to roll this out. I'm trying to keep it so you guys can see it. You want this oh, about a quarter of an inch thick. Now this dough is still a little soft, but we want these cookies to be kind of soft. So that's okay. And then just to make sure you can see. Just use your cookie cutter. Now I have cookie sheets already lined with parchment paper. And I am going to take these, put them right onto that. And then you could just use a pastry brush and dust off the excess flour. Good. Well, I have one of these spatulas that's really thin, so it makes it super easy to pick up this kind of stuff. Just want to pick that up and put them on your sheet. So I'm going to go ahead, cut all of these out, dust them off. I'm going to throw them in the fridge for maybe half hour to an hour, depending. Um, and then I'm gonna bake them at 350 degrees. And let me see. I wanna say they take about seven to eight minutes. Of course, it depends on how um, thick you're gonna make them. So I would say anywhere from seven to 10 minutes, just check on them after seven. You want them lightly brown. And then I'll show you how I do the frosting. Okay, so for the um, frosting or the glaze or whatever you want to call it, um, I don't like a ton of it on there, but ours is super flavorful, meaning it's really lemony. So if you don't like it really lemony, just add the lemon zest like I have here. This is about a cup of powdered sugar. I might add more. And then you could just add milk. To yours but I we like it super lemony and tangy so I use the juice of a lemon and it's going everywhere all right so the zest is in there already the lemon if you don't want lemon you can use vanilla also for the cookies you can see I don't have them all cooked yet um, you can use strawberries, you can use raspberries, blackberries, any berry would work pretty good. Um, especially like if you are doing it for Valentine's Day, the pink would be nice. But we really like blueberries and lemon and I needed to use it. So, now I'm going to pour these on the cookies. So I just start with the one cup of powdered sugar. Most recipes call for two cups powdered sugar, but like I said, it depends on how much glaze you put on your cookies. So this is so easy. Like you just add a little of this, add a little more lemon or water. You could use water, you could use milk, whatever you want, and then just pour that over and let them sit. So it all... Um, hardens up. This will turn like um, hard on the cookie and I will insert a picture of what they look like once they're all done. 
Um, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe and share. Have a happy Valentine's Day, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.